Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Guys, today we're talking about MK11 Scorpion. Uh, reason being, I wanted to make this video. On the first glance, it seems that MK11 Scorpion is a really, really straightforward character and basically that's true. But I wanted to give you more uh, details about this character so that you can use him to the full potential. Uh, now, the reason why MK11 Scorpion is without any doubt the best diamond at Fusion Zero is pretty simple. For one thing, he has almost if not completely unbreakable chaining with basic attacks and the second thing that many many people disregard but it's really important is the fact that he deals a lot of damage thanks to his fire dots all in all he is the dot king in my opinion uh, for instance currently you're seeing me fighting with fusion zero and kill scorpion against an enemy team in faction wars takita goes down and then johnny cage tags in and he's about 60 percent health so in other words if the enemy team is not really immune to fire or if the enemy team doesn't heal from fire, MK11 Scorpion should never be your opener. You have to attack him in immediately after the beginning of the fight. If you do so, basically it feels like uh, he's doing, he's removing 40% of health of all three characters on the enemy team. It feels like a uh, classic Raiden passive. Of course, it happens over time, but at the end of the day, as you're currently seeing, Johnny Cage tags in at around 60% health, and you can imagine how great that thing is in towers. So really, really useful thing about his passive and the way you have to use it in order to uh, use it to the full potential. So if I have to summarize, on every attack and in the beginning of the match, MK11 Scorpion removes 20% of the health of all three characters on the enemy team, as long as they don't resist the fire. So if you attack him twice, that's 40%. If you attack him three times, that's 60%. Four times, 80%, you get the idea. If this is not OP, I don't know what is. Now, another thing about MK11 Scorpion that you should know is that you should never be afraid to use your combo enders because his special one connects after both of his combo enders. It doesn't matter whether he actually does them or he cancels them, special one will connect. So for instance, if you're fighting MK11 Jade, you want to cancel the combo ender that applies fire. But in all other cases, you definitely want to do the combo ender because the fire dot will help you tremendously to take down really, really strong opponent. Remember the fire works uh, it basically use damage uh, based on the percentage of the maximum health of uh, your opponent so that's always useful it doesn't matter how strong the opponent is he's going to burn and his health bar is going to disappear and that's pretty pretty awesome so it is time to talk about special two of mk scorpion for many many people this ability sucks quite frankly it's not really the greatest ability in his arsenal uh, for one thing and one thing only the animation uh, the recovery speed after he does special two is pretty slow and in a lot of cases will leave him vulnerable and uh, or the enemy character is going to tag out so when you have to do special two believe it or not there are certain cases when doing special two actually makes sense there are two of them. The first case is your enemy is snared. That's really important. The enemy isn't cornered. Then you can do special two, apply bleed. Uh, and since special two of Scorpion is basically throwing your enemy away from you, you have time in order to start your other combo. So once again, the enemy must be snared. Reason being, if he is not snared, you can do special two and then your opponent can simply tag out. So all these criteria must be met. He must be snared and he must not be cornered because if he's cornered by the time your animation the recovery speed ends after the special tool scorpion he's going to get wrecked and the second situation when you want to use his special tool is to finish off the last enemy standing if you're 100 certain that this is going to kill him it is the case then you shouldn't be afraid to use your special tool in all other cases you have to use either special one or the fatal blow as you can currently see i'm using uh, my special tool to finish the kira but unfortunately this isn't enough actually the kira dies but the problem is that johnny cage tags in and since my recovery speed after special two isn't uh, over yet johnny cage starts punching me and that's uh, really really something that i want to avoid so all in all only two cases when you can use special two but do not forget it has another dot so it's another way to finish off very very strong opponents and the last advice I want to give you about MK11 Scorpion uh, is concerning him tagging in mid-match. Basically what you want to do is uh, to have one bar of power every single time when you decide to tag in Scorpion mid-match. Reason being, sometimes when you tag in, the opponent will start punching you before you uh, start your combo and this will result in you dying, especially if your Scorpion is low fusion. So in order to rectify that, always make sure you have one bar of power on tag immediately to special one. It doesn't matter whether your opponent blocks it or not. Uh, if, he, if he blocks, it's not a big deal because uh, you can start your combo, eventually break his block, and from there on, it's easy. So breaking the block is really important and making 
sure that the enemy doesn't start punching you first is also important. This is the reason why having one bar of power on attack is always useful. Alright guys, so this is going to be all for you today. I will let you enjoy the gameplay now. Take care.
perfect. <laughs>